Greetings. In this video, I'll be explaining the autonomic and somatic nervous systems. Let's get started. We'll start off by explaining the somatic nervous system. The somatic nervous system is a division of the peripheral nervous system and is a network of nerves that carries sensory information received at a sensory receptor sites in the body back to the central nervous system. It also carries motor information from the central nervous system to the muscles. For example, if you touch something hot, like this flame over here, sensory information from your skin will go to the brain. So sensory information will go from your skin all the way to the spinal cord, to the brain, right, to the brain. And the brain would interpret it as dangerous. So that's dangerous. That's an exclamation mark. No, sad face. And would send motor information along the neural pathways. So it sends it down the spinal cord, back to the hand again so you could move it away. So the hand could dodge the flame, so you could avoid it. The most important function of the somatic nervous system is controlling the voluntary movement of skeletal muscles. This means any voluntary movement you produce is because of the somatic nervous system allowing controlled movement. The somatic nervous system splits into the motor nervous system and the sensory nervous system. The motor nervous system sends messages to the muscles to allow movement, and the sensory nervous system sends messages from the sensory organs to the brain for processing. And now onto part two of this video, the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is a network of nerves that carries messages from the central nervous system to the lungs, heart, and other internal organs and glands. It also carries messages back from the internal organs to the central nervous system. The autonomic nervous system automatically regulates the functioning of internal organs. It controls the parts of you that is involuntary, like the beating of your heart and digestion. So here we are. As you can see, this is the autonomic nervous system and what it does. It controls all these involuntary actions. So like your pupils, your simulation of salivary glands, your heart rate, your lungs, your digestion, all of it's involuntary and controls all of this. The autonomic nervous system also has a very important role in involuntary responses to threats in the environment, like enabling the fight or flight response. Some aspects that are controlled by the autonomic nervous system, like blinking and breathing, can be voluntary influenced. So although breathing is an involuntary action, you can still control it voluntarily. The autonomic nervous system splits into the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. These nervous systems are explored in depth in other videos on this channel. And you can see here on this diagram how the autonomic system splits into the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. So here's an overall basic summary of this whole video. The somatic nervous system controls voluntary actions through the skeletal system. It also communicates between the central nervous system and the skeletal muscles. The autonomic nervous system controls involuntary actions through the internal organs and glands. It communicates between the central nervous system and those organs and glands. So this marks the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so this channel can become monetized. This was created by Simply Explained.